else wants some? <laughs> else wants some. <laughs> Who else wants some? <laughs> Yeah. 
Easy. What's up? Else wants some. Let's do this. 
easy. Else wants some. <laughs> Look at that a campsite, and just when we needed one. Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We'd travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which... I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. Behold, the Fun Size Forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the Porter Pounder, and Bob's your uncle. New equipment. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties.
Thank you. 
Yeah! Life is the life for me. <laughs> what in the world? I repaired the bridge only yesterday, and now some blighter's gone and destroyed it again. If I ever find out who did this, I swear I'll. Ta da! You called? Sicky devil at your service! <laughs> ah, I went to a lot of trouble to smash at this stupid bridge! I'm not about to let you fix it again! Here, get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam! <laughs> One minute you're a silly old woodcutter, the next minute you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius! <laughs> now, what mischief shall I get up to next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time! <laughs> Bye, doggy! Stay! <laughs> Treasure chest! I think I've just hit upon my most devilish trick yet! What the heck just happened? You touched that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well, all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. Uh, hi. Hey, 
You're supposed to be shocked by my devilish trickiness. No? Time for plan B, then. Take this! Ha! <laughs> Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. What did you just... Oh, cheeky devil! Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! <laughs> Let's do this. It's our pal, the Pooch. <laughs> Not anymore. Thanks to you, I'm back to my old self. I'm Flint the Woodcutter, by the way. And I owe you more than words can possibly say. How can I ever repay you? It's funny you should ask. We were hoping that some kind soul might fix that bridge the monster smashed up. It would be my pleasure. Why don't you go back to my cabin and put your feet up? I'll have it mended for you in no time flat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Much obliged. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. You don't hang about, huh? Thanks. You've really helped us out. Now, young fellow, about this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life is some kind. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. The glowing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil, a piece of root poking through from beneath. said that the world tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. 
And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing. But did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the World Tree. And you've got great hair, too. Life just isn't fair. <laughs> so not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favorite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on.
else wants some? <laughs> else wants some. <laughs> else want some. <laughs> I'm cooking your favorite stew. It'll be ready any minute now. You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. 
Well, set the table and I'll just give it a last little stir. Whoa! Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? What nonsense are you talking? My boy is six years old. Who do you think you are, waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not? Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant! Don't make me say it twice. Dad, can I borrow your ladder? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off and now it's stuck up a tree. <laughs> well, we can't be having that now, can we? Let me go and find it for you. Hmm? We don't need the ladder anymore. That nice man over there got my headscarf down for me. He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. I think it might be me he's looking for, you know. Why don't you two run along and play and leave us grown-ups to talk? All right. <laughs> well, well, well. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it. I'd known you since you were a baby, after all. I knew it was you right away. But you don't look too happy, my lad. Care to tell you, old Grandad, what's on your mind? I see. So, 
You're from a future where I'm no longer around. Well, well. And King Carnelian went and threw you in the dungeon. And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that? Hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. But what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grow up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. You always saw me right. Bye now. for getting Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play any time you like. <laughs> it's ages till I gotta go home. What should we play now? Well, we could play, um... Are you okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. <sighs> I can't believe they do this. And just because you grew up here? What kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing, and so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those visions? Wow. So you... you went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... and yourself? That is seriously weird. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on.